Hello class 12, welcome to history lecture. We are continuing with our 5th chapter and our today's topic is Chalanwala Bagh Massacre. There first uh, we will recapitulate about the Rollert Act. This the Rollert Act is very much related to the Chalanwala Bagh Massacre. And we know that this Rollert Act we have already read. This Rollert Act was passed by Justice Rollert in 1919 and by this act it was said, it was promulgated that the Indians cannot form gathering and the personal liberties and rights of the Indians were taken away. Also the freedom of praise was taken away. So by this act we see that uh, the liberties of Indian people were taken away. Now uh, the, in this regard uh, what we see in Punjab, two uh, congressmen, two congress leaders were protesting against the royal tax. Uh, like preaching anti rollert sentiment and protesting against the Rollert Act. And these two leaders were arrested. That is Dr. Satya Paul and Kichu. These two were uh, protesting against the Rollert Act and they were arrested. Now after their arrest we see that huge protest started in uh, all over India but especially in Punjab. All over India there was a protest against the roll attack but especially in Punjab we see that a huge uh, protest broke out. Now in this situation what we see is that the Jalanwala Bagh incident took place. We see what was the incident. Jalanwala Bagh incident took place on 13th April 1919. On 13th April 1919, the Jalanwala Bagh incident took place. Now, what happened? What is the incident that we have to explain in our answer when we are writing about the Jalanwala Bagh massacre? The incident is that on this day, that is on 13th of April, almost 10,000 innocent people, 10,000 unarmed people gathered in the Jalanwala Bagh. Jalanwala Bagh is a garden in Amritsar. And there we see it was an unused garden. So all the sides of the garden, there are tall buildings and all sides were blocked. Only on one side there was a opening. Uh, narrow lanes are there through which people can enter the garden. So this was an enclosed garden. And there we see people uh, gathered. So some people were protesting against the arrest of Dr. Satyapal and Kichnu on this day. And also we see innocent people like women and children were also there. Because at that time, Baisakhi festival was going on. So they uh, met up met in the Jalanwala Bagh or the garden. There we see as this gathering was not allowed by the Roller Act. So uh, General Brigadier Dyer ordered his troops to open fire at the um, uh, people who are gathering in Jalanwala Bagh without any warning. So without any warning, we see that the people were opened fire and in this fire, more than thousand people lost their lives and many were injured. So what happened is that in this open fire, when people were trying to go out from the garden, because we have already seen that only one side was open, people were trying to go out of the garden, there also many people were stampeded. A whale was there in that well, so many people jumped and they lost their lives. So this was a tragic incident and it is it has been described as a monstrous uh, act of the British by some historians and by also Rabindranath Tagore. So in this incident we see that uh, the, in the Jalianwala Bagh massacre, many innocent people, many unarmed people were killed. Now this incident had many uh, significance, it has many significance, the results of the Jalianwala Bagh massacre or the significance of the Jalianwala Bagh massacre. We will see where we see that this opened the eyes of the Indians against the British this British torture or oppression. This British oppression became clear to all the all over India. Not only in India, we see that uh, it became an international issue that unarmed uh, innocent people were killed. So all over the world it became an issue. The British oppression over the Indians came to be known to all. Moreover, we see that more and more people started participating in the freedom struggle from this time. And as a result of the Jalanwala Bagh massacre, we see Rabindranath Tagore refused his knighthood. He gave up his knighthood. And Mahatma Gandhi also uh, 
refused his Kaiser E. Hind title, which was awarded to him. So what we see is that during this time, uh, this incident is very important, Jalianwalabak, because it opened the eyes of the Indian people and more and more people were inspired and encouraged to take part in freedom struggle against the British rule. And the British operation became so open and it came to be known to the entire world. Apart from this, we see another important result or significance of the Jalianwalabak massacre is the beginning of the non-cooperation movement. Gandhiji started the non-cooperation movement in 1919 as a, as a result of the Jalianwala Bagh massacre because after the Jalianwala Bagh massacre we know that the ruler Satyagraha was withdrawn which, which Gandhiji had started against the ruler that peaceful non-violent protest that ruler Satyagraha was stopped because in many places people became violent. And for that matter, we see the British were also taking repressive measure, which leading which was leading to loss of life of the people. In this situation, we see that Gandhiji uh, had to call up the Rollard Satyagraha, but after the Jalian Balabag incident, he again started a new movement, that is a non-cooperation movement, which also was to be held in a non-violent way. Thus, we see that this Jalian Balabag incident is a very uh, infamous incident which occurred in Punjab. And it took away life of many innocent people. So this incident is a uh, direct result of the Rollert Act, which was passed by the British. And the significance of the Jalianwala Bagh incident is huge because it, it, it was an international issue, and all the people of India were became aware of the British atrocities, and more and more people were willing to take part in the freedom struggle of India. Thank you.